Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of the Age of Decadence. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as I loot these guys and deliver some bad news because I came here because I wanted to explore the Ark or the Arch. I think it's the Arch. And uh, yeah, I couldn't. Uh, I can't because um, I need three power tubes. And I only have two. I need three power tubes to activate one of my metal gloves. And, yeah, I only have two. So, my strategy... Oh. Imperial armor. It's a bronze imperial armor with defense rating of 10. It's a really awesome armor. It's, I mean, the action point is only 8, the maximum action points, but... Still. Still. Yeah. But, unfortunately, we don't have the power tubes necessary to activate the glove, which is required to see what that arch is all about. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Hellgate or the Dead Reaver. Because those are the only two locations left for us to explore. And I'm just trying to see... So, we got... Yeah, those are the two. There's the old facility, there's Care Tour, Monastery. We've been to the Monastery. We've been everywhere. Except for these two. So I'm gonna go here first. I'm gonna hope I'm gonna explore the Dead River first. I'm gonna see hopefully I'm not gonna get into the um, the temple because once I'm in the temple, I can't come back. So yeah. Land Ahoy. Five skill points gained. This is the Dead River. You guys, if you're following if you if you've been following my uh, let's plays of the Age of Decadence, or if you've played the game yourself, you know exactly what this is. But if not, well, what the scrolls call the dazzling river port is now no more than grumbling stones perched at the edge of a dry riverbed. The only other detail of note is an agglomeration of unusually dense fumes hanging over the dusty glutch. After an unsuccessful attempt to peer through this unhealthy looking cloud, you turn back and are startled to find a young man standing only a few feet behind you. He is empty handed and dressed in old robes, many times patched and too threadbare to conceal any weapons. What do you seek here? he asks. Though you have uh, spoken with people from many lands, his accent is strange to you. Well, I'm looking for an old temple. The Great Ziggurat, was the man. It lies beyond the hollow. The hollow? It was a lake once, but the gods cur cursed it, explains the man. They sent an evil wind that brought death to everyone who hadn't gone into hiding and caused the waters to boil and turn to poison. So how do I get across? You Were you summoned? Asks the man with uh, childlike curiosity. I have always said no, but I will say yes, because I want to see what happens. Then the gods will send for you, says the man with conviction. And if they don't, then you must take the trial and prove you're worthy. A trial? The hollow is dry, so you can cross it on foot. The air isn't as bad as before, but we'll weaken you all the same when you need your strength the most. Why? The evil wind killed everything that walks but spared things that crawl because the gods had a special task for them. The gods ordered them to grow big and guard the hollow until the curse is lifted and the waters return to wash them away. Well, let me guess. Giant scorpions? They never go out of style, do they? They are fearsome and terrifying beasts. Okay, so there's no other way across? Not anymore. But they used to be. There are stories of a bridge made of light, but I must confess I have had a hard time imagining such a thing. What man is worthy enough to walk on light? Well, who can tell me more about that bridge? For a small donation, the Elder will be happy to answer your questions, says the man promptly. Probably the main reason he was sent to greet you. He points at the stone steps disappearing into the darkness. Okay. So, I'm gonna need a rope that I don't have, I don't think. Let me see. I can buy it. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, I need a rope. Uh, unless I can manage to... Yeah, I probably will be able to um, turn on the Bridge of Light. Remember how we never got able... We were never able to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not with Kato, not, certainly not with Klepta. And uh, yeah, that things didn't go too well. But I am going to open the Bridge of Light. I'm going to see what it is. And then I'm probably going to go through the bottom. Because I want to see what those are as well. I'm going to kill those scorpions. Got a novice here. Was that the same novice? Yes. Blessed be, he says. Well, whatever. Got another one over here. I think that one doesn't talk. No, he does. Gods be with you, traveler. What is this place? It's a place of sorrow and hope, recites the man, bowing his head. This is where we grieve for the world that we lost. This is where we hope that the gods will return one day. Yeah, you can grieve and hope anywhere. Then who would maintain the machines? The machines? The machines that were left in our care. They will herald the gods' return into this world. Can I see the machines? Certainly. You can pray and light a candle. The gods will bless for you. Bless you for it, I mean. Okay, so you maintain these machines. I'm only a novice. 
We look after the elders, and the elders look after the machines. The elders shut themselves off from the world and live in darkness to be closer to the gods. So how does it get them closer to the gods? Only an empty vessel can be filled. You must empty your mind from all earthly thoughts to hear the gods when they talk to you. It takes years just to prepare yourself for the transition. What do you mean, the transition? When the novice is ready, he dedicates his life to the gods and descends into darkness, leaving the world behind. From this day forward, he spends his days in meditation and prayer. No more work. So that's your retirement plan? Become an elder and live a life of leisure in the darkness? I've been working from dawn to dusk since I was a boy, and I still have decades of work ahead of me. Trust me, I won't, I won't miss the light. Okay, whatever you say, guy. Whatever you say, let's go downstairs, because we have stuff to do down here. And hopefully, yeah, now that I have 8 crafting and I have 9 lore, I will get 10. But, um, actually, I could just upgrade it right now. Let's see. Eh, I have so many skill points. That is very good. Um, basically, from now on, we're going to be able to just bypass, to just do whatever we feel like, I think. We got an elder back here. I don't think there's anything around here. It's very dark. I don't think there's anything that they will tell me. Are they normal people? Can't really see. I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think it's normal. Uh, let's see. There's a couple of paths. There's one here. Leads here, but there's n there it is. Okay. And there's nothing to explore. Okay. Let's go there and talk to the elder that actually talks to us. Yeah, he's a normal guy. Not. He doesn't have tentacles for a face or anything. You're standing. Yeah. There it is. You're standing in a large underground chamber, crowded with a host of bizarre machines and contraptions. The air reeks of old lubricant, rust, and harder to place scents. After trying to figure out the purpose of the equipment the chamber it's, uh, and the chamber itself, you decide that the machinery must have been brought here from elsewhere for storage or the display. The place is like a shrine to an age long past. Drawn to, low, uh, drawn to a low flickering to, to your left, you approach what looks... Well, what you took to be a still functional device, but the apparatus is long dead. The light comes from the s from several small candles housed in a row of glass tubes painted red. Who are you? Says the elder, his face hidden from a cloak, uh, by a cloak. I'm a wanderer. What do you seek here, wanderer? An old temple. Many have come before you. Few had the wisdom to leave. Did anyone make it? A woman. Yeah, I know this woman. I we've killed her. She's the one. She's the. Um, I'm, she's not the leader, but she's the oracle or something in um, uh, Inferia, or the village above Inferia, anyway. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we've killed her because uh, we had to survive, basically. <laughs> I was but a child when she came here, but I still remember her. She demanded an escort. The elder refused, and she killed him on the spot without pity or mercy. She took our best men, who were more afraid of her than of the beasts crawling in the hollow and left. She returned alone, but she never said a word, and we never asked, for it's not our way. Can you give me an escort? <laughs> she has drained our strength, and we've never recovered. There are no men left to give you. We buy children, he points at the young men who greeted you, to replace lost brothers and keep the flame alive. Why do you stay here? These holy machines, these holy engines were entrusted in our care. It is our duty to maintain them. How do you do that? We pray and ask the gods to guide our hands. Does it work? The gods aren't always there to answer our call, so few engines are still working. Of course, when the gods need them, we'll be ready and they'll guide us like they always have. Do you know what the machines did? Wondrous things! Uh, exp explains the elder, showing his face for a moment. It looks strangely deformed, large unblinking fish eyes, wide lipless mouth, and thick skin hanging in folds. Yeah, it's the radiation poisoning, I believe, that's doing this. Because there's radiation down here, probably. They could raise the water in the river to the level of the lake. They could turn night into day and day into night. They could even conjure a bridge made of light over the lake. Do you mind if I take a closer look at the machines? You want to marvel at the holy relics? You may do so. Perhaps you'd like to stay with us and dedicate your life to worship. I'll pray for the divine to touch you and mark you as it marked me. Nope, I'd rather not. Thank you, though. I'm very generous of you. So hopefully, my hope is that we're going to be able to find... I really want to see what's in the arch, but, well, if you, if you can't, well, we can't. I, that's, that's bad, but... Uh, my hope is that we're going to be able to find um, uh, some uh, power tubes in here or on the other side. 
We'll see how it goes. So let me save the game here. Let's examine the machines. You're standing in front of the makeshift altar covered in candles. Let's examine it. By sorting through a tangled disarray of cables, you determined the machine was once connected to a bank of power generators. The generators themselves were gutted long ago and their shells converted by some ancient devotee into small shrines. That is the that is problem number one. So we can restore the power by kicking apart the mechanical abominations left by the locals and rifting, uh, rifling through the detritus. You manage to scrabble together enough to repair one generator. It's less than you need, but it will have to do. Sweeping the cable stubs and mouse skulls aside, you start rebuilding the generator. It is uh, not your best work, in fact. From a distance of five paces, your creation is indistinguishable for, from uh, its mutilated brethren. But when you throw the lever... It gives an almost human wheeze and reluctantly comes to life. The elder gasps as a dull glow heralds the generator's return to basic function. The machine is working at no more than 30% capacity, but it's best you, the best you can do. So let's fix the bridge. The coil is busted, but as this particular part enjoyed a celebrated second life as a candlestick, there are plenty, of, plenty to choose from. At some point, another technician did a passable job of mending the amplifier. Thank the gods for these minor mercies. The crystals are darkened from a hard use, but nevertheless are functional. All but one, that is. Mm -hmm. And I have Fang's crystal. It's not Fang's crystal. It's uh, the crystal that I got from a guy. Uh, although, where he got it, that's actually... Hmm. But you can get two if you get Fang's and then you get the guy uh, the guy that we fought in the arena. So let's do that. It's the Eye of Thoragoth, the, uh, that amulet. Um, you insert the crystal and the machine comes to life with a rolling, bone-deep vibration. A coughing sound soon follows when from the overtaxed generator. Not enough power. Yeah, it's quite a predicament. You could overload the generator, which would increase the power output, but only briefly. The generator won't survive this process. It is reasonable to assume this entire area won't survive. Your own survival is not entirely guaranteed either, but when you have, uh, whenever you ever let that slow you down. Okay, I, want, I, d I don't want to use the bridge... I will kill these guys, so that's another reason why I don't want to use the bridge. But the reason why I really don't want to use the bridge is because I want to go through the through the underground, because oh, through the dead river uh, to the other side. Do the same path that Klepta did, uh, just to check what's down there, because there could be power power tubes down there. I hope there is. Otherwise, we need to go to Hellgate. But anyway, we're gonna kill the scorpions, and that's gonna be it. But right now, I'm gonna overload the generator and go outside. And there's the bridge. With a whirring metallic whine, the power supply rises and a broad rectangle of light extends over the chasm. The beam is focused and does not spread. Sorry about the hiccup. As if the ancients were funneling sunlight, you watch incredulous as the light brightens and then thickens as if forming a physical surface and at last subsides to a gentle glow. Tentatively, you tap with one foot at the place where the bridge meets the edge. It is no illusion. You step out onto the parapet and a deep, not unpleasant humming sounds sound envelops you. Walking out onto the bridge, you feel the air resist you, as if you moved underwater, just as when you walked through the glow bearing the entrance to the Tower of Zamadi. The generator can blow up at any moment, so let's keep walking. You are more than halfway to the other side when your stomach drops, along with the rest of your body. <laughs> In time, with a rattling explosion behind you, the bridge has winked out of sight, leaving you at the mercy of gravity. Fortunately for you, a nice hard carapace of a giant scorpion breaks your fall. Rolling to your feet, you start running and climb up the steep bank. Let's climb up. So, are we gonna fight a scorpion right now? No! We are on the other side, in the temple. I'm not gonna read that, because we can't go back from here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load my save here. I just wanted to see what that was, um, yeah, because I was curious, and... Uh, yeah, I'll see you later, man. You're, you'll survive. You will survive. So what we need to do now is we need to go to Ganazar, buy a rope, or a couple of ropes. I don't know how many ropes they have. They're kind of heavy, so I probably just gonna, I'm probably just going to buy one. I don't think I need more. Um, yeah, I probably need more, though. Uh, so let's go outside. Oh, I can, can use the map from here. No, I can't. There we go. And now let's go to Ganazar. Is that Ganazar? I think it is. Um, and let's buy, buy a rope, and then we'll come back and kill the scorpions, because I want to see what things there is in those dead bodies down there. You remember that? I don't think we ever got to any one of those. I remember that would that was like... I don't know. I don't know. I just want loot at this point. I just want to see. So... Uh, I need to go to the blacksmith right there. I think there's one guy here who sells rope. It could be Ezra's. It could be that guy right... No, it's probably Ezra's. Uh, show me your wares. Let's see what you have. Yeah, there we go. Ezra sells rope. 
It's not that heavy. Just eight pounds. Eh, it's okay. Um, I can sell this. I don't need that. I can sell one of the gloves as well. Certainly don't need that. That's a metal glove. It is the ghost ghost hand. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell it though. Let's just trade and uh, keep going. So back to mm, world map. Yes, back to the Dead River. So I really, really want to see what the arch is because I've uh, used pretty much all of my. I don't. I haven't used the, all the power tubes that I could have used because there was still a couple I think that I could have used in. Um, what was it? Where was it? Over there. No, over here, over here, the mining outpost. At least one that I could use there to activate the forge. I never activated the forge, though. Attach a rope right there. And climb down. Okay, so I'm going to save here as well. And uh, let's hope that my mask... Actually, I could actually just equip the mask. I think that will prevent me from taking damage. That's charge respirator. Certainly don't need this stupid amulet here. I don't even remember what it is. House of Crassus. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so let's keep going, and uh, let's see. Slowly, you enter the fog, ready to jump back at the fight. Uh, the first, first sign of trouble. At first, you feel nothing at all, but deeper you go, the thicker the fog becomes. Breathing becomes more difficult, almost painful, and your skin starts burning. Oh, I could turn. Okay, that's cool. I could turn the Aegis armor. I could try the breathing apparatus, or, <laughs> yeah, keep walking. And that's probably a constitution check. Uh, I probably am going to fail because it's probably like 8. I have 7, I think. Anyway, let's try the breathing apparatus. You have to charge it first. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, turn back. I have the Aegis power armor for that. I'm not going to charge it. It's charged already. Oh, wait a minute. Although, although, yeah, it's charged. Did he check for this? Let's drop it. Yes. Drop it. Like it's hot. And I will never see it uh, ever again because I don't know where it is. There might be an item here, an icon here. It used to be that in the earlier version of the game you could click one item, that, one icon down here. Uh, and it would let you pick up every item in the map. But I remember that. So let's see. The mask helps and breathing gets easier. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that was creating conflicts. It, was, it wasn't mine to begin with, I, I don't think. Or maybe it, it was, I don't know. Anyway, uh, but your skin starts swelling in small bumps, reaching to the poison in the fog. The bump becomes more prominent as you watch, expanding and forming boils. Whatever is in this cursed air, it's going to kill you one way or another. The mask merely slowed it down, burning you more time. Buying you more time, okay. Let's keep walking, we can make it. As long as he doesn't take away from my maximum health, we should be totally okay. I remember it hurts me, but I don't think it... I really don't think it uh, it uh, kills me. It takes away from my maximum health. I still am using Horus, so let's kill the scorpions. Is it the first time we're killing scorpions? I don't remember killing scorpions before. So, I, I think it is. It, I think it is the first time. Well, we still haven't killed the scorpions, but... There we go. Hmm. A three, a three damage. Okay, let's zoom in so I can see three damage with a, with. Oh, sorry, with that. That's good. That's good. Uh, so now I'll go with a couple of regular attacks. Actually, I'm gonna go with a single regular attack, and then a couple of fasts, and then switch to Horus. So that way the poison is not gonna get to me. I'm dealing a lot of damage to this guy. I actually critted him. There we go. And I'm poisoned. Nine, nine damage. It's okay. It's all good. I got this. Don't you guys worry. These guys are tough, though. No wonder Clapped had so much trouble with him. With them, yeah. Let's switch to Anubis. That will take care of our health and uh, of the poison as well. Ooh, nice. I got. Uh, it's not. Oh, it is actually better than Scolopendra poison. It's amazing. It's some. We're gonna need that. I think. Maybe. I don't know. So this is not completely dried. Hmm. Did I miss that? Did I note? No, I not. I didn't notice that. Well, I didn't say anything about it. So, what is it doing right now? Ugh. You guys just said. Yeah, it's not taking... I don't think it's taking away from my maximum health. So, it should be okay. Yeah, it's not. Okay, perfect. We are doing well right now, folks. We are doing well. Let me save the game again. So they're gonna attack. And I'm gonna move in. Because I want to do this as fast as possible. I'm not a wimp like Calapto was. There's more scorpions. There's scorpions all over the place. And, yeah, these guys were too tough for me. As clapped. I just want to see what's down there. Mm, nice block there. Nice block. Um, mm -hmm. So that guy's coming. I will activate my Apis mode. I will. So let's. Yeah, let's go with a few fast modes, a few fast attacks. 
here, and maybe... No, no kill. No kill. That guy's gonna be repelled back, I think. This guy as well, hopefully. Yes. Yes. That guy blocks. Uh, block as well. Another block. No, actually, partial block. And zero points of damage, because my armor blocked for me. That guy... No, okay. Eh, it's going well. It's going well. So, let's switch back to Apis. And a few fast attacks should take care of these guys. This guy needs... Is that guy dead? I think it is. Okay, let's go with this one. A couple more attacks. And switch back to Horus for maximum defense rating. I think. I think that's how it works. I believe so. Mm-hmm. Okay, he got through. Zero damage. Block. Zero damage. Yeah, they're not dealing as much damage as the other guy. Could I have been too afraid? I mean, uh, the other guy did, did so much damage the first attack. Eight point. Maybe he bypassed the armor, though. I, I didn't see. Oh, is he dead? He is dead. Oh, he doesn't look dead. Okay. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll try to push him away. Oh, can't push him away? Apparently, I can't push him away. Okay, it's all good. That he doesn't move back. It's all those legs. You know, it's like... Mm. Ouch. Five, yeah. There's, he does that. They do damage if they get through. That that was a lot of damage, though. That's all good. The poison is not going to get to me. We are going to get to it. Not to the poison, though. To the poison dealer. The scorpion is going to die this turn. Mm -hmm. There we go. Perfect. Switch to Anubis. Loot their bodies. There we go. Take all of that. We need the poison. All the poison we can get our hands in. Or on. Hands in. No, don't, don't put your hands in poison. That's, uh... It's bad. Why? How does that work? Oh, okay. I got three poisons. That's all I needed. But why do they have 2.1 pounds? Is the, the poison is not that heavy. What the hell are they carrying? Okay, let's see what I, what we have here. A respirator. That's cool. Antidote. Oh, two antidotes. And a bomb. So that's really, really nice. I'll take the respirator. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I mean, I just lost one, so... Uh, and I'll take that as well, because it's light. So I can sell it as well. Hmm, okay, that's good, that's good. Let's see, so, can interact with it. I need to insert a power tube, yeah, okay. Uh, so, I'm healing up, that's all good. There we go, yeah, we're doing well. We're doing totally okay, let's go. Uh, I really hope we're going to be able to find a power tube, though. I don't think we will. <laughs> I don't think we will, I'm here, it's just a, basically a matter of last resort here. I think in Hellgate there's one, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. I really hope I really hope we, we will though, because it, the problem is in Hellgate. I think we need to lose maximum health if we want to get to it. Hellgate is a, a really interesting location though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe not this episode. Certainly not this episode. We're gonna see how many scorpions we can kill in this one. But oh, 98% dodge. Huh. Okay. Well, it seems like he's down for some dancing. Oh boy. Okay. Did him passive that guy, which is a bad thing. I'm blocking them, their attacks, that's good. Mm, and just as I say that, I take two attacks to the face. Only one of them dealt any damage, one point of damage, but the poison is the biggest problem here. So let's go into Apis. I think uh, I would rather do a couple of world wins here. Oh, that guy's gone. That's good, so I can do a double fast attack on this guy and this guy. And then switch back to Horus. Even though we're taking poison damage, we should be okay. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, our armor is the best thing ever. Look at it. Look at it. Golden teal. It's amazing. So, I mean, I, I would switch teal for, like, orange or black. Gold, golden black is really good. I really like that, that color scheme. But, yeah. Golden teal is nice. I mean, it's very proto <laughs> That Probably, actually, speaking of which, that probably was the inspiration for this armor. Uh, I don't know, though. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of teal, just, you know, in regards to... Oh! 11 damage, huh? Man, these guys are getting tougher. Maybe I was being cocky. Well, I was being cocky. Maybe maybe I was being too cocky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it, sh it should be okay. As long as we survive the combat, the poison is not gonna kill us. So, I'm gonna attack this guy once another time. Switch to Horus. Move back. So, I'm gonna take another 4 damage. But that's okay, because he's going to take a bunch of damage as well, trying to move in on me. Oh, the passive didn't work there. And I took zero damage. Okay, so it's, it's going well. I think it's gonna, I'm going to be able to kill this guy without problem. Yeah. And 
and down he goes. Perfect. Switch to Anubis, and we're good to go. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got a scorpion here with some poison. Another scorpion here with some poison. And there's another one over there with some poison. Man, so much poison. So much good poison as well. I think that's the best poison in the game. Seven points. I think that's the best you can craft even with um, ten crafting, I think. I believe so. Uh, so what we have here? Handar made a blue steel. I will take it. And we got a power tube. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes. So good. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Ooh, I'm dying. It's all good. It's all good. We got what we came for. Let's get out of here. Let us get out. Well, we're not afraid of those. We're not afraid, but let's get out of here because I... Actually, I kind of would like to explore this a little bit more. But I wanted to explore the arch as well. Uh, there might be nothing else for me, though. So... I don't see anything. If there's nothing else. I mean, there's the poison. But yeah, if there's nothing else... Yeah, there's more. There's more. We're not gonna do it all today, though, because we have killed enough scorpions for the day. We are... Where am I? Where am I? We're gonna... Mm, this is the way... It's wrong, wrong way. Where is that? Is that a dead scorpion? No. It seems like a live scorpion. Wait a minute. No, that's a dead scorpion. Okay. So let's get out of here. Let's go to the arch. Let's enable our ghost hand, or charge it, or whatever, and uh, we'll see what awaits us in there. Because I want to see... Well, I want to see what awaits us in there! I don't want to kill more scorpions this episode. We have done enough. So let's go up. Let us switch to Horus. Let's save the game. Press M. Go to the arch. Charge the power hand of powerness. Where is it? Where is it? I got the ghost hand right there. Interact. Insert po three power tubes. You put on the ghost hand glove. Flex your fingers and insert the tubes one by one. Your fingers feel a bit strange as if you were moving them underwater, but other than that there is no no noticeable effect. Okay, it's good. It's good. We're in the looking at the wrong place. Okay, do I have the power hand on? No. Oh, look at it. Look at that. How do I Oh. How what is that? That's good. I can't switch it. I can't use it, but we're not going to fight anybody. So, yeah, very much the same kind of technology that gold or actually that's like tin. Just a little, little bit weird, like gray and, and teal. Mm -hmm. Same kind of technology. So let's see. You're standing in front of the arch. Other than its size, it looks completely ordinary. Old and dusty, with a few cracks here and there. You walk around looking for anything unusual, but find nothing of interest. Oh, it's not the hand. It, could it be the hand? Actually, what the hell is the hand for? <laughs> I don't remember what the hand is for. I, I, I think I've read about it, but we'll see. I have the eye patch still. Let's see. The, the mechanical eye, the mechanical eye, words to life as if charged by the mystical energies of this place. You blink, trying to focus, and suddenly shimmering machines appear around you. You look up and see the arch transforming into a massive structure. It takes you to a, a moment to realize that the arch itself didn't change, but what you saw only the tip of the iceberg until now. The arch is merely a small part of this colossal structure, the only part that is visible in your plane. The rest of it exists elsewhere, somewhere where it will never be seen or found by the uninitiated into the mysteries of the Magi. It's probably like the internet or something, I don't know. Let's examine the machines. Oh, there it is, that's the ghost, uh, the ghost hand, I knew that. I knew I needed that. You, touch, you try to touch one of the machines, but your hand passes through it as if it was nothing but an illusion. So yeah, it's like, it's virtual, so you need a, a hand to control it. It's like in Shadowrun, <laughs> where you need like the, what's it called? There's the, anyway, the, you need a hand, it's basically... Of what it is. You put on the ghost hand glove. Your fingers feel a bit strange as if you were moving them underwater, but other than that, there is no noticeable effect. Let's try examining the machines again. You try to touch the nearby machine again, and this time, your gloved hand hits solid metal. Fortunately, the controls aren't very compli complicated. You throw around the switch, and the machine comes to life. You turn to the second machine. The men look with curiosity as you move around, making strange movements with your hand. Suddenly, one of them cries out and points at the arch. The archway is glowing with blue light. The gods are returning, cries the oracle, praying with fervor, tears running down from his only eye. Oh, what a glorious day! And to think that I doubted that I will live to see it. I have no idea where this will take me. I guess we'll find out. But not right now. 
right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been The Age of Decadence. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.